What's up, everybody? You already know who it is. It's Drip God Daryl, and I'm back at you guys with another banger. So in today's video, we will be doing another playoff breakdown. This breakdown will be between the Boston Celtics and the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, before we get into it, more than likely this video will come out while they are actually playing, but I do want to show you guys that this video is being made at 510 Central Standard Time, as you guys can see. So, yeah, this was made before they actually came on. This prediction is before this team wins or loses. So, without further ado, let's switch over. Let's get right into it. All right, so we all switched over. And as you guys know, I always like to go through the uh, regular season games or the regular season matchups with between the two teams. And as we can see, their very first game was actually against Philadelphia, and they ended up winning. So Boston, they are 1-0 currently. Let's keep moving. We are, we're going to keep scrolling down until we find their second matchup. All right, I just found their second matchup, and it was a, another dub. As we can see right here, second matchup, second dub. This one was fairly close, though. So I do want to keep that in mind. The game before, it wasn't too close. Let's keep it moving, man. Let's keep it moving. All right, and it looked like they had one more matchup. And this was actually a loss. But like I said before, this one was also fairly close. This was a loss, 103 to 101. So it really came down to the wire. So... So far, they are 2-1 against the Philadelphia 76ers. And with that being said, let's just talk about it, man. Let's just talk about it. So first and foremost, I want to start off with the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, with the Philadelphia 76ers, I feel like this is going to be a hard series. And the reason I say that is just because the defense of the Boston Celtics, they are, you know, fairly switchable. And what I mean by that is that down there, every player in their starting lineup and some of the players off the bench, they can guard, they can play great defense. And I feel like the main thing that's going to make or break this Philadelphia team is just if Joel Embiid is healthy or not because regardless of the guard play that, you know, um, the Boston Celtics have when it comes to their defense, regardless of that, the Philadelphia 76ers have Joel Embiid. And I don't feel like anybody on the Boston Celtics can guard him. Yeah, they have Time Lord. Shout out to him. But I feel like even he's a little too small. Yeah, they have Al Horford who is a veteran, who has guarded Joel Embiid decently well before. But that was a couple of years ago, man. This That was a couple of years ago. Al Horford, he's gotten older. So with that being said, I feel like the main focal point, it has to be Joel Embiid because me personally, I believe that their wing players and their guards, they're going to tend to struggle in this matchup because of just the switchability with the Boston Celtics when it comes to their guards and wings. So I really do feel like that's going to be a problem. Another thing that I want to note is how good is um, James Harden going to be? Will he be able to blow by his defenders? Like I said, me personally, I don't think it's going to be that easy or that great of a series for James Harden because the switchability of all the guards and wings on this uh, Celtics team. But if he does end up, you know, really playing like a close to prime James Harden and he's actually able to get that first step on defenders and, um, you know, actually make his layups because that was a problem in the previous series. He wasn't really hitting his layups. If he's actually doing that, then... I feel like there is a lot of success that you can really see, you know, with this Boston Celtics, not Boston Celtics, but with this 
Philadelphia 76ers team if he is able to actually get that first step on some of those um, some of those Boston Celtics guards and also if he's able to actually get those switches on those bigs on those centers such as Al Horford and Time Lord if he's able to do that then yeah he might be able to have his way a little bit but like I said I feel like this is going to be a tough series um, another player I want to bring up well two other players to be more specific um, I want to bring up Tobias Harris Tobias Harris what type of game will we have from him I feel like it'll be very interesting to see how he guards um, Jason Tatum I believe that they should have Tobias Harris guarding Jason Tatum I feel like me personally um, PJ Tucker he is a little too small to me. I'd rather have P.J. Tucker trying to guard Jalen Brown and have um, Tobias Harris guarding Jason Tatum. So that's what I would do. Uh, another thing that I feel like will be fairly important when it comes to this series is the rebounding. If Joel Embiid could really, you know, just get a whole bunch of offensive rebounds and just really enforce his dominance in that paint i feel like that's a sign of greatness and i feel like they can definitely get some dubs against this boston celtics team but we don't really know how healthy joel mb it is and that's another reason why i feel like i don't know man i don't know when it comes to this philadelphia 76ers team man i don't know how healthy joel mb really is also, another player I want to just bring up, Tyrese Maxey, man. Can Tyrese Maxey really be as explosive as he's been in the regular season when it comes to those fast break points and things of that nature? That's to be this. That's to be discovered, to be honest, because as we know, this Boston Celtics team has a very good defense. Let's switch over to the Boston Celtics. Now, I pretty much stated the reason why I feel like. In conclusion, the Boston Celtics will win. I do feel like it's just really their their switch ability. Them having so many good point of attack defenders, Marcus Smart, Derek White, you know, Jason Tatum is solid defensively. Um, Jalen Brown, solid defensively. Grant Williams, solid defensively. Them having so many solid defenders. I feel like it's really going to give the guards for the Philadelphia 76 or some problems and I feel like that's really the main thing that will sum it up um, also I feel like though I feel like you know Jason Tatum and also Jalen Brown I feel like they're going to start you know just really taking advantage of the Philadelphia 76ers having somewhat small guards. I feel like they're going to try to take advantage of when Tyrese Maxey is on the floor. I feel like they're also going to go at James Harden as well. And I feel like that's really going to be a problem when it comes to Philadelphia and their defense. But that's my thoughts on this series. I got the Boston Celtics in six. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Like the video, comment on the motherfucking video, subscribe to the motherfucking channel, turn on notifications and all that good stuff, and I'm out. Peace.